Can you name this song? That was Poker Face, which topped charts in at least 21 different countries at the end of the noughties for Lady Gaga. And today we will be focusing on 40 other songs that got to number one between the year 2000 and 2009. As with the 70s quiz, every song included top charts in at least the United States, United Kingdom, Australia or Canada. Mostly because these are the countries where most of my audience are watching from. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! Starting off with Coldplay who topped charts in five countries with Viva La Vida. Kylie Minogue top charts in Australia, Hungary and the UK with Spinning Around. A1 top charts in Norway and the UK with their cover of Take On Me. The importance of being idle was a number one for Oasis in the UK and Italy. And if your glass heart should cry. Oh, oh, walk on, walk on. Walk on top charts in Canada and Portugal for you too. Flow Rider got to number one in six countries in 2009 with Right Round. Cascada top charts in Israel, Netherlands and the UK with Evacuate the Dance Floor. Enya top charts in Canada, Germany, Poland and Switzerland with only time. So Solid Crew got to number one in the UK in 2001 with 21 seconds.
Bent's top charts in the US and Canada for Matchbox 20. Every day got to number one in Canada and Spain for Bon Jovi. Get Busy was a number one in Hungary, the US, Italy and the Netherlands for Sean Paul. Sex on Fire top charts in six countries for Kings of Leon. Jamelia top charts in Australia, New Zealand and the Czech Republic with her version of Superstar. Jennifer Lopez top charts in nine countries with Love Don't Cost a Thing. Every other word is a huh, yeah, okay. Could it be the two or at the grid with another lady? Say My Name was a number one hit in the US and Australia for Destiny's Child. Womanizer was a number one hit in 11 countries for Britney Spears. Madonna top charts in at least 21 countries with Hung Up. That's Not My Name got to number one in 2008 for the Ting Tings. To cry out loud, she runs to the street and she screams. What about me? It isn't fair. Shannon Knoll topped the Australian charts in 2004 with his version of What About Me. Dare was the first and only UK number one for Gorillaz in 2005. But I will go down with this shit. There will be no white flag above my door. 
White flag topped charts in at least nine countries for Dido. So I get on stage, right? Drop the mic. Walk up to these hot chicks and I'm all like, What's up, ladies? My name's Slim Shady. My band was a number one in Norway, New Zealand and Australia for D12. Love Story was a number one in Canada and Australia for Taylor Swift. Although Sonique released It Feels So Good in 1998, it got to number one in six countries with a re-release in the year 2000. Jerry Halliwell's cover of It's Raining Men top charts in at least six countries. Gwen Stefani got to number one in Australia and the US with Hollaback Girl. I've let her go. The father and daughter collaboration of Ozzy and Kelly Osbourne got to number one in the UK with Changes. Although released in 1999, What A Girl Wants by Christina Aguilera got to number one in the US the following year. Gotta Get Through This was a 2001 UK number one for Daniel Bedingfield. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Crazy Town top charts in nine different countries with Butterfly. Holly Valance topped Australian and UK charts with her version of Kiss Kiss. Don't Stop Moving got to number one in Ireland, the UK and Switzerland for S Club 7.
Nelly Furtado got to number one in 11 countries with Say It Right. Colby Calais top charts in six countries with Bubbly. Sugar Babes got to number one in the UK and Denmark with Hole in the Head. Toka's Miracle was a UK number one for German group Fragma. We Belong Together topped the US charts for 14 weeks in 2005 for Mariah Carey. Big Girls Don't Cry was a number one in at least 12 countries for Fergie. While well, the party was nice, the party was bumping. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yo. And everybody have a number. And ending on the Baja men who top charts in Australia and New Zealand with who let the dogs out? And that's the end of the Naughties number one music quiz. What was your total score and which song used was your favourite? Let me know in the comments and tell me if you'd like to see more quizzes like this. Thank you very much for playing along and I'll see you again soon for another squiz.